Hi, I'm Marcus Hutzel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of tests using Philips Hue and some other smart light bulbs in my videos, filming with both my Panasonic GH5 and my Sony a7 III. However, if you came across this video and you haven't watched the previous video where I talk about some more reasons why this happens, if you can actually use Philips Hue bulbs in your video, and some more general info and solutions, check out that video first or after this video. But the rest of this video is just me testing some settings, different frame rates, shutter speeds, and colors of my Philips Hue light bulbs that are in my background. And remember, we're talking primarily about the light bulb in this lamp right here, not these. These really don't affect um, flicker in videos. They don't really produce that flicker. But this one being a Philips Hue, depending on the camera you use, can produce flicker, which you can see a little bit in this shot. So let's focus on that one as it sits behind me. I'll put some timestamps below with some notes in case you just want to jump around and check out different frame rates and shutter speeds. But for now, I'll just get to showing you the tests. All right, so here is a quick shot of the Panasonic GH5, aperture of 1.4 on the Panasonic 12 millimeter lens. I'm filming at 23.98 frames per second, and my shutter speed is 1 50th of a second. And if I look here, I'm looking at a monitor so I can see that light back there. Um, I don't really see any video roll. So this test is more or less good with the Philips Hue bulb. I can film at 23.98 frames per second, which is my preferred frame rate. A lot of people will call this 24 frames per second, but really it's 23.98 or 23.976, but close enough. So in my opinion, this is just kind of luck that this camera with its sensor and its shutter speed and that light's output at its frequency just happens to not make any sort of video flicker or video roll with this particular camera with these settings. So mostly I can basically assume that this is okay and I can use this shot, I can use Philips Hue bulbs in the background with these settings on my camera. But just for testing's sake, let's change the shutter speed to 1 60th, which a lot of people will say, you know, now that's what you need to do with, with lighting because we're on uh, 60 hertz cycle with AC power here in the United States. But as you can see right here, if you look closely, you'll see this flicker or this video roll, it's fairly fast. And I'm at 1 60th of a second. Now, generally I wouldn't be at 1 60th of a second. I wouldn't need to do this because filming in 24 frames a second usually means my shutter speed would need to be at 1 50th of a second. So this is a little bit of a useless test, I guess, um, because we don't need to be at the shutter speed and we get the video roll at this shutter speed. So let's go back to 1 50th of a second and more or less, again, with this camera, with these settings, I should be good to go. But let's add another light and I'm going to add, this time it's actually an Ikea smart light, but it's hooked up through Apple HomeKit. So let's turn on that light. Now it's further out of the frame. It's way over there. You can't see it in the frame. It's providing a little bit of light, but let's turn off the door and I don't see any video roll. Again, the light is kind of way out of frame. You can't see it much. Maybe if we turn the camera, there it is it's over there. So I don't see any visual video roll on uh, this video file. So in my opinion, the Ikea light also works just fine at 1 50th of a second, filming at 23.98 frames per second on a Panasonic GH5. I kind of like this look, like me on the three quarters showing more of the office. I'll have to try this look more. All right, now this is gonna come through a little weird on YouTube because the main video, this main video you're watching, I filmed most of it and I'm editing it in 23.98 frames per second or 24 frames per second. This particular clip right now that I'm recording is at 30 frames per second or actually 29.97 frames per second because you may be someone that films in that. Now, putting that frame rate into a timeline that's different may cause me to be a little jittery but I wanted to attempt to show you what 30 frames per second looks like with these smart lights. So Panasonic GH5, 29.97 frames per second, and I've increased my shutter speed to 1 60th because generally when you film at 29.97 frames per second, your shutter speed would generally need to be 1 60th of a second. And as you can see, if you look closely, I see a visual video flicker or video roll down here with 
that Philips Hue bulb. So I don't think this is a good scenario to use this. If you're gonna film at 29.97 and be at 1 60th, you're gonna get the video roll most likely. If I take my shutter speed back to 1 50th, then to my eyes, the video roll goes away. And this is not generally where most people are gonna put the shutter speed. Again, if you follow the 180 degree rule, if you're filming at 29.97 frames per second, you're going to put the shutter speed at 1 60th, which in this scenario causes the video flicker. So 1 50th of a second at 29.97 frames per second, no video roll. Again, most people are gonna to default to putting their shutter speed at 1 60th like this, and then it's minor but I see it and it's there. And if you're going to want to make your videos as perfect as possible and not have any of this, then, you know, do a lot of testing and maybe don't use 1 60th of a second. Let's test my Sony a7 III. All right, Sony a7 III filming in 23.98 frames per second, 1 50th shutter speed. And let's turn on that Philips Hue light in the background right there, see what happens. Now to me, again, my eyes see this video flicker coming from that light bulb. And again, like my previous video, this unfortunately doesn't show up terribly well on YouTube, depending on what screen you're watching on. If you're watching on an iPhone, it may not show up at all, but if you're watching a larger screen, like a laptop screen or a, a larger computer monitor, you're definitely gonna see this. The YouTube processing can kind of mitigate some of this, but YouTube may not be your final destination. You may be handing this off to a client and this video roll is definitely gonna show up. So for me in this space, in my home office studio here, using Philips Hue bulbs with my Sony doesn't really work so well because I generally get this video flicker. And again, my shutter speed's at 1 50th of a second. A lot of people may say, just put your shutter speed at 1 60th of a second and that will solve it. Let's try that. And I don't know, to my eyes, got a little worse. You can see this down here. And you know, it, the flicker can vary depending on the intensity of the light. So sometimes if I max out the light, the flicker goes away, but you know, maybe that's not where you want the light. Say so you want it right there. And again, I can see this flicker with the Sony a7 III filming at 23.98 frames a second, 1 60th shutter. Let's go back to 1 50th. And there you go. So let's try the other Ikea bulb. Let me turn the camera somewhere in that direction. Now let's see if we can turn on that lamp over there. Give me one sec. All right, so remember that's an Ikea smart bulb, not a Philips Hue bulb. So if we change the color of that to something else, let's lower the intensity. And I'm looking at my, my Shogun over here to see if I see any video flicker. And I currently don't. I still see it on my Shogun in the Philips Hue bulb there, but I don't see any on, on that lamp back there. I stand corrected. When I was watching this footage back, um, if you zoom in, you can see a slower rolling flicker from the Ikea lamp. So it may not appear if the light's far in your background, but it is there and it could affect your footage, buyer beware. Let's put the camera back, pardon the close up. All right, somewhere in there. Now, let's try 30 frames a second on the Sony a7 III, hang on. All right, Sony a7 III, 29.97 frames per second. Let's turn on that Philips Hue bulb. And to my eyes, I see it immediately and to me, it's a little faster and a little bit worse at 29.97 frames per second. Um, can vary a little bit depending on the temperature of the bulb you choose. So if we go to warmer color, maybe it gets a little less if you choose a warmer color. If we go back down here to a whiter color, I can see it. For me, this is not a good test and I would definitely steer clear of choosing Philips Hue bulbs when shooting with my Sony a7 III because it just sees this flicker most of the time. What about the color? Let's change the color and see if that helps anything, makes it worse. There's blue. I still see the video roll. Red's not too bad. We're at still at 1 60th of a second in 29.97 frames per second. And either the red is outputting a different frequency, which makes sense because light is all about frequencies, 
uh, but it doesn't seem to produce the same roll effect. So try different colors. You may have better luck. Anyway, I don't like 29.97 frames per second frame rate anyway, so let's go back to 24. I've got red. Now to my eyes on my small monitor here, I don't see any video roll. So there's red. Let's actually open up the Philips Hue app and let's change the color. So we're at red. We're just gonna go around the dial here on Philips Hue and choose different colors and see when. Now there, I'm starting to see the video flicker, the video roll, and I'm at this you know, magenta E color. Let's go around to purple, still seeing it. Going down to blue, I still see it. Coming down to darker blue. Now there, when we get to this dark blue, I still see it, it's, it's still there. Let's go back to teal, green. And we're looking right, right in here is where I'm seeing it. Green, I can barely see it, it's not as bad. Yellow, go back to amber, orange. You might be able to experiment with different colors and your different frame rates. But if you don't want to take the time or don't have the time to do the testing, then you may not want to use Philips Hue lights for your YouTube studio, simply because you can't always choose the color you want with the frame rate you want, depending on the camera you have. All right, this is the Sony a7 III. It's in PAL, which is the European standard for frame rates, and I'm in 50 frames per second. And now it's in even 50 frames per second. And this is one of the only modes on the Sony a7 III where I can see that I don't get any video roll. Now, I don't like filming in 50 frames per second on my Sony all the time, especially here for YouTube. I like that 24 frames per second, you know, movie look that it gives you when you film at 23.98 or 24 or even 25 frames per second. So... This is not a mode that I would normally shoot in, but it's one of the few that kind of gets rid of the video roll on my Sony a7 III. And last, but most certainly not least, is my Sony a7 III in 25 FPS. That's the PAL standard, an even 25 frames per second. And to my eyes, I don't see any sort of video flicker or video roll from that Philips Hue light in that little lamp back there. Again, we're not talking about those. We're not talking about this one right now. We're talking about that light um, because that one is the most prominent probably in my background right now. So if you're willing to keep your Sony a7 III in the PAL uh, frame rates of 25 and 50 frames per second, this is probably a good way to go. You just wouldn't be able to switch back and forth easily without having to reformat the cards or just keep extra cards on you or record externally like I'm doing now using my Atomos Shogun. And let's go through some colors real quick. Obviously we're on red. Let's just uh, take this around to kind of a, a bright white. Let's go around to green, teal, blue, magenta. Let's turn off those Edison lights. Turn off Edison lights. Okay, the Edison lights are off. Yeah, she knows all. Um, so yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of video flicker with the Sony a7 III in 25 frames per second. All right, so if you're going to keep your Sony a7 III in the PAL standard, you're only gonna get 25 frames per second if you're in 4K. If you wanted 50 frames or 100 frames per second, you'd have to drop down to HD or 1920 by 1080. But otherwise, you'd be in the clear uh, with just about any of those PAL frame rates using Philips Hue bulbs, and Bob might be your uncle. All right, so hopefully this video and the other video have been helpful. And as you can see, there are still some ways you can effectively use Philips Hue or other smart light bulbs in your videos. It just may rely on some more professional features of your camera or filming in true frame rates, which are typically on the PAL format of 25 frames or 50 frames per second. So yay for solutions. Anyway. Hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or any notes or comments down below. Enjoy, and I'll see you later.